we are able to successfully get the product and I have displayed the price here. Now what we are going to do? This entire data we are going to display here. And also on top, I should be having the image. Okay, whichever image I am having inside the product, that image should be displayed. I will just click on edit button. I will come and I am just going to comment it out this one. And also this. Okay, as I told you, when we use while and when we use only this, my SQLI fetch ASOC. If you want to fetch all the data from the database, then we will use while. But if you are having only one product which has to be edited or which has to be displayed, then without using while loop, you can use the code. Now I'll just come to image tag. Now inside this SRC, first I will be writing images folder. Inside this images folder, I will be writing PHP code. Okay, directly if you want, you can print on top. As of now, I'm just going to write here PHP echo. I just want to display this one, fetch data. And inside this, I just have to pass the image name. Okay, this whatever I am passing inside this, this should be exactly matching with the table column name. I will be closing PHP syntax. Save this. I will come. Now if I just refresh this one, you can see the image is displayed. I have already given the stylings, so stylings are applied. Now I am able to get the image. Now I just want to get the name. This hidden field, I will be telling you why I have written. This I have written to get the ID from the database. And while updating the product, this will be very useful. Now I just want to display the name. This hidden field as it is, I am just going to leave. Now inside this hidden field also, I am just going to give value. Okay, this value will be useful while updating the product. Again, I am just going to write PHP code. PHP echo fetch data inside this I have to pass the ID. Okay, this also our column table name. Now this hidden fields when we I will just come here and if I just refresh this one, this hidden field will not be visible. Okay, you should be very careful on that. So the type is hidden. So this will not be visible. So while updating the products, we are going to use this and we will be updating the products. Then next I have to display the name. I will just come here. Value is equal to. Let me just copy the same code. And inside this I will be pasting. I will just change it to name. Save this. I am just going to refresh. You can see inside this I am having laptop. So in the same way I just want to display the price. I will come here for price value is equal to I am going to paste the code close this and in not not here let me remove from here and I will be closing it here and inside this I am just going to write price save come refresh now price is also displayed Whatever data we are having inside this database, you can see laptop and this price that is displayed inside my form. As soon as I click on edit button, all the data should be displayed. Only then I will be able to edit. Now for this image, we have to select new image from our system. So once I click on submit button, whatever changes I have done, that will be stored inside the database. So for our image, we have already given all the fields. And here we have button fields. Inside this, first we have submit button. And next we have this reset button. For this submit button also, let me just give the value. Value is equal to update product. Update product. I will close this. Refresh. Now here I am having update product. Okay, now we are successfully able to get the product and we are able to display this inside the form. Now, once I click on this update product, 
whatever changes I have done to my data, that changes should be successful and that data should be stored inside the database. And next time when I get this ID number 10 product, then whatever changes I have done, that product should be displayed to me. Okay, next session we are going to write our update product code.